Hi gang, come with me on a journey. Talk to me hands free while I'm driving. I used to talk to you with a brew, but now I do a lot of driving round. I've explained that before. I'm making the most of the situation where at the moment I'm free to drive around. Nine o'clock tonight, there's a curfew here where I am in Hua Hin. Sounds like wartime, doesn't it? And um, the more you look at the news and you see what's going on in the world, it's beginning to look like a war zone. If you think about the amount of conflicts that there are, we call a war a conflict, don't we? How many conflicts are there in the world? There's religious conflict, there's political conflict and divide, there's racial conflict, there's uh, gender conflict, <laughs> left and right, conservative, Labour, Republic, Democrat, football teams, tribes, families, companies, it's all going on at the moment in 2021. I'm getting a lot of messages and voicemails and emails asking me for guidance and I never say that I'm right, I just offer this stuff freely for your consideration, it's just information that to me has been inspired. So it's not data, although I do look at the data, I look at the facts, not just the um, MSM facts. Do you know what MSM is, mainstream media? <laughs> not just their facts, because um, it used to be that you could trust Reuters, the news agencies, there used to be investigators seeking the truth. Now, in my opinion, they are repeaters spreading an agenda. Um, possibly been like that for a long, 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 long time, if the truth be told. It's becoming so blatantly obvious now, but that's information. And we live in an information age where we can access information readily. What we used to be able to do before this recent situation, um, where certain information is being uh, denied us now. Um, data and facts used to be able to look on um, World Health Organization sites and um, NHS sites and get comparisons of data. They've restricted that now. Uh, all I ask you to do is consider why they're doing that. <laughs> Be open-minded. Um, and then there's inspiration, which to me is the collective consciousness. It's what you know in your gut. It's that voice in your head. Intuition. In tutor, that inner tutor. It's your Jiminy Cricket. It's that voice, that little grasshopper on your on your shoulder telling you that's right, that doesn't sound right, don't trust that. Or do this, do that, that's good for you. So we have our that inner voice. And that inner voice actually can sometimes be a voice from the past. It could be maybe you hear your dad or your mum or whoever brought you up or your, an ex-partner telling you something and that's a replay. That can be helpful but it can also be destructive and um, it can hinder you sometimes those voices. I do a lot of work with people who've got voices um, because they've been indoctrinated in the past by people who've controlled them. <clears throat> if you're sensitive you tend to be a very, very good, what psychologists and I call guilt catchers. Guilt catchers. And guilt catchers are very good at attracting guilt throwers. You'll often find in a relationship that you've got a guilt thrower and a guilt catcher. <laughs> if that's you, if people play you with emotional blackmail, if people think that your kindness is weakness, and in fact if your kindness is a weakness and you're unable to say no because you like to people please because you're lovely, toughen up and if you don't know how to we need a conversation I was in that category uh, I felt that I was a lovely kind positive guy but I think I was vibrating mug <laughs> people took me for a mug you don't do that now um, I found my power about 20 years ago 
through metaphysical processes. I mean, I, I, I was a fourth dan mixed martial arts player and then teacher. People know me watching this because I ran karate clubs and martial arts and mixed martial arts clubs up and down the North Wales coast up until my spine injury in uh, 2007. And I'd done it for 30 years and three years in Manchester. So I'm no pushover, you know, I can kick ass, but I never used to. In fact, I believe that if you have to kick somebody's ass, that you've lost before you even kick their ass because the word Budo, which you'll see bandies round in martial arts fraternities, Budo, the way of fighting, is a misinterpretation. The etymology of Budo is actually to stop the fighting. It's to be able to fight so you don't fight, and the belief is if you go back into the esoteric origins of the belief system, is that um, if you fight, you've lost. <laughs> you should be able to project your power without the need to fight. Anyway, I digress. I'm just saying that I'm no mug and I don't take any shit off anybody, but I am extremely kind and loving and positive and constructive. But quite often, that voice from my past tells me, don't be selfish, don't say that, don't do that. And that's because my parents brought me up to be polite. <laughs> um, and unfortunately being polite, or even politi politically correct, you can be a doormat and have mug on your forehead, so you've got to wake up to that. So there's these voices that tell you what's right, not necessarily to be polite and to stand up for what you believe and when you look at all these conflicts that are going on around the world at the moment and maybe conflicts in your life or conflicts that maybe you're observing around you even if you haven't got conflicts it's disturbing well let me just take this in a different direction because I'm going to be coming live quite a lot um, during September and beyond I've said that before and not done it because I've got Wi-Fi issues here in Thailand. Uh, quite often when I go live it's a poor signal and then that's disappointing. People wait for my live and then it, it, it sort of like lags and drags and it's frustrating for you and it's not professional for me to present like that. And I've done my best to get high speed fibre. Um, so. I know that at the moment it's, we've had rainy season and at the moment it's a bit thundery. So I'm just going to wait till September for the weather to change and then I'll have more reliable transmission quality to do these lives because I want to go live and interactive and share about this stuff because I care. Not saying that I'm right as always but just for your consideration and for your inspiration because I do believe that I channel this stuff. I do believe that me, Michael Garner, the personality <laughs> is not as bright as the stuff that I get through me. In other words, I connect to higher consciousness, I believe. You might think that I'm away with the fairies, but if we did a one-to-one, -one, I could prove to you that I know things that I shouldn't know <laughs> about you. And through my tarot cards and my runes and just empathic psychic connection, I'm able to amaze people, actually. Not because I'm amazing, just because our minds are amazing, the universe is amazing, and what we're seeing, all this conflict, is a shit show. And these people at the moment who are telling me that um, they're going into drama and feeling trauma and anxiety and stress and fear, and um, people committing suicide all over Thailand at the moment uh, because of poverty and fear and um, desperation and it's possibly being replicated in other parts of the world but people here have got a very simple mentality and um, very loving and kind and unfortunately very few coping strategies um, they're told to embrace the Buddhist philosophy which is a wonderful philosophy but alone just that for me is deficient no disrespect sorry Buddha but I'm a Christian by faith, and Christianity also is excellent. Um, not fundamentalism, and not, in my opinion, some of the um, distortions of what the real Jesus teachings were, which was love. A lot of the rules were man's rules, Ten Commandments, 
completely um, prostituted, completely distorted by man. Um, and a lot of the stories that were chosen to go in the Bible by um, Constantine, the king who put the Bible together, chucked out all the good stuff and put in the stuff that controlled the masses. <laughs> Most religions are to control the masses, which is why in Catholicism you go to mass to control the masses. It's a prison religion and um, the theology behind it and the inspiration behind it, the spiritualism behind it, the Gnosticism behind it, wonderful. But the religion, the dogma, the rules, those are man's rules. Those are distortions of the teachings. And a lot of them, a lot of them aren't even the teachings, they've been took from other sources. So you can't turn to religion, you can't turn to philosophy, you can't turn to politics, <laughs> you can't turn to commerce, you can't always turn to your parents, your partners, your kids, or the bloke down the pub, or your mate over the fence. What you can do is you can turn to yourself you can go within when things are a bit shit on the outside external go internal go inside um, and um, to me um, that's where your inner tutor is it's your inner thoughts your inner mind it's what's called the micro the micro universe within you and then we live in the macro which is the the global physical world and the perceived universe we live in a world of images and at the moment all these conflicts are being projected to us in images you know we we hear something on the radio and it creates images in our mind we hear something said and we create images in our mind we think something and we create images in our mind pictorial representations of our thoughts. Our mind is working 24-7 even when we're dreaming. Even in what we call sleep state, it's still a state of consciousness where we're producing images and thoughts. As a hypnotist, I work with the images and thoughts to change people's reality. It's called change phenomena hypnosis, where if you accept a suggestion, it changes your perception which changes your reality. So if I say to you, you can't stand up, and you buy into that suggestion, you will not be able to stand up, your hand will stick to your head. Or if I say that your mouth is full of marbles and you can't speak, you won't speak. Because your mouth is full of marbles is an image. And you respond to that image with the inability to be able to move your mouth, manipulate your tongue and, 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 and communicate. You know, if I tell you that you've got super glue on your hand and it's stuck to your head and you believe that, that's what you experience. And all the time, these images that I'm working with, with my clients and students, teaching them the power of themselves, the power of the mind, that their psychology, their mindset affects their physiology and their biology. That you can literally make yourself sick to death with thoughts and images and perceptions. When they understand that they can shift that, that's when they find the power. And those images are created within. And what you've got to do is you've got to block all external images and all external in inputs. So you've got to stop listening to people talking shit and negative and moaning, complaining and gossiping. And go inside where you'll find your truth your love, your inner peace, and you've got to switch off MSM, and you know, although I love, I mean, I'm talking to you and I'm using Facebook as a communication uh, platform, and Instagram, and Vimeo, and TikTok, and YouTube, and all the others that I use, um, WhatsApp, at the end of the day, um, I'm using those as tools and we can use the world as a tool to gauge the quality of our thoughts. If the quality of our thoughts are fearful, we'll see a fearful world. If the quality of our thoughts, if we are angry people, we'll see an angry world, an aggressive world of conflict. If, if however, we are peaceful and we come from balance, we have the opportunity to see balance in the world and actually our world will become peaceful and balanced. And if more people do that, 
then more people will expel, that will experience a peaceful, loving, balanced world. And people say, well, that's rubbish, mate. Well, it actually isn't. And there's been lots of scientific evidence that through harmonic resonance and vibration and thought fields and prayer fields, whatever words you want to use, because a thought is a prayer. A prayer is an intention. You put your hands together and you pray. And even this putting your hands together is scientific. It's not people don't understand but what you're doing is you're connecting your left female with your right male in a circuit and your fingers go together which again are antennas it's a big subject I teach this in MBS so powerful and people don't understand it and it's been turned into something wishy-washy misunderstood and therefore not believed by most of the people, the power of thought, the power of prayer, the power of you in this world of images. So the question was by a lady that I spoke to today who I've got great respect for, love for, admiration for, is, and without betraying the personality of the person and their um, confidence in me, not breaking confidence, because I'm a qualified accredited therapist and I wouldn't do that but if you're watching this you know who you are <laughs> so God bless you for sharing your story with me but we live in a world of stories and images and her story is that she's just been on a mission and I won't tell you what that is otherwise I might reveal the person and then also they've just moved continents and all of a sudden they've gone from one situation into another out of the frying pan into the fire and um, there's always frying pans and fires. There's always hot situations. There's always, if you're looking for it, you'll always find a cause, a conflict. If that's predominant in your mind, if you're living in fear, you'll attract and connect to fear. You, 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 you'll attract and connect to fearful things. You'll attract and connect. Um, fun things if you're a fun person it's quite difficult if you're a caring person like this lady is to dismiss some of the horrors that are there for us all to see so what do you do about that well the advice I gave her is to stop looking I mean you can know about it but not react to it. I can know that I'm angry, but I don't have to do anger. I'll say that again. I can know that I'm angry, but I don't have to do anger. I can know that I'm frustrated, pissed off, sad, but I don't actually, I don't actually have to do those emotions. An emotion which comes from a thought, a picture, in my mind. An emotion is emotion, it's energy, E, in motion. You move with a feeling, with a thought, with a picture. These pictures that we're getting projected to us constantly on MSM are moving. We, we talk about something that was very moving, very upsetting or very... It invokes something within us, it's evocative. These evocative images are designed, in my opinion, to create a reaction. And then the government, who are controlling governing your mentality come along with the solution which is the agenda um, and then we end up thanking them for it when actually they created the situation in the first place projected the fear put us into fear we look to them for the solution and then they come along like the heroes no it's all been manipulated created and, uh, and managed we have um, it's called social engineering and it's been going on for decades and centuries. And it's so obvious now. So you don't play the game. You refuse to react. You've got to do that consciously to start with. There are techniques I can share with you if you contact me, where you can detach, go into breathing techniques, go into a, what they call the law of substitution, where you substitute a thought, negative thought for a positive one, a negative image for a positive one, negative conversation for a positive affirmation lots of techniques but 
work really well and I can do instant hypnosis and do this change phenomena hypnosis with you to shift your perception through by installing new beliefs but you can do that for yourself realize that you are being manipulated realize that it's you that's looking at these images and if you are reactive if you are easily upset if you are kind and with that kindness comes a sensitivity don't bombard yourself either desensitize yourself by looking say right I'm going to look at the headlines which is what I do I look at the headlines but I, I don't get involved in the detail because I don't believe a word of it Half the stuff that's on television if you notice just notice at the moment just just be aware of this when you see somebody on television have a look at this mouth area at the moment I'm growing a beard look at this <laughs> but have a look at this mouth area looks like a cartoon in my opinion on most of them it looks like it's an animation it looks like CGI you see these politicians quite often or, or, or you go on YouTube or you, you, you go on any live stream or video where they're showing something I doubt quite often if it's actually that person saying it or if it's that person's voice I see a lot of the Obama stuff and um, from the past or Tony Blair stuff or two people I've got no respect for and uh, and many others um, and you look at some of the stuff that creates headlines on YouTube and gets thousands of likes which don't forget makes the people who are posting it very rich these youtubers they're in the business of getting likes and hits they're gonna say anything to get a like and a hit the most extreme things get the most likes and hits and every time they get a like and a hit they're making money don't forget that you know they're in a business you know I admire some of these people Katie Hopkins and Ricky Gervais and whoever else you follow but um, you know they're saying some of the most extreme things um, Alex Belfield love him but you know the youtubers they're in it for business and they're gonna say things um, to get likes but the point I was making is have a look at the mouth because quite a lot of it is CGI quite a lot of it is manipulation some of these things that in the past have said Donald Trump has said or Biden has said I mean, I've got my own opinions about Donald Trump and Biden, and I'd much prefer Mr. Trump to Mr. Biden. And I certainly don't respect Obama or Bush or Blair. Don't like any of them, really. They're all left, right wing, same bird. <laughs> They're all in it together. But it's being projected at us, and what you can do is just be discerning and decide for yourself. Just look at the headlines, and then, in my opinion, pray for peace, pray for balance, radiate love and stay peaceful. We live in a world of images and you want to look at beautiful things and smell beautiful things and taste beautiful things and hear beautiful things and touch beautiful things. The world was created as a garden of Eden. We have actually got heaven on earth but at the moment we're only being showed hell and if you don't want your life to be a living hell and you want to be well in my opinion control these images I've got a process called cure hypnosis C-U-R-E C for create U-R which is your and E at the end of cure is experience create your experience by watching MSM, mainstream media, and all this shit show, the Taliban, Afghanistan, the pandemic, all these crises, climate, COVID, Black Lives Matter, the binary agenda, trans stuff, all these minorities, the refugees, oh my god, you could... Have you, ever, have you ever known a time when it's been so much shit going on in the world? Do you think that there's an agenda? Do you think that these things have just happened by accident? I don't. But that aside, 
What are you going to do about it? How are you going to react to it? Because your life is in your response to these things. Your life is in your response. How are you responding? You've got to be responsible, able to respond in a way that allows you to cope. You need strategies. Maybe you need my cure hypnosis, which will create your experience. Maybe you need to change the phenomena in your mind, change your thinking, so you can change your perceptions and change your life. And, you know, if you want to chat, I'm here for that, and I'm here to help. And I really encourage you to radiate positivity that the world that you want to see comes from you and me. I'll say that again. The world that you want to see starts, comes from you and me. Because if you create inner peace, we'll start to experience world peace. That in reality, absolute fact, in reality, everything that we're looking at is a projection of our thoughts. So as I say as a hypnotist, when I tell somebody that they can't see me, they don't see me. Everybody else that's not hypnotised does see me. I can get people to see the partner or the friend that's in the experience with them as a hippopotamus <laughs> or a zombie or, I don't know, talking pizza. Because once an image is in your mind, that creates your reality, that creates your experience. So... Guard, be the bodyguard of your thoughts, be the bodyguard of the images and the perceptions that you allow to infiltrate your subconscious mind. Because your subconscious mind is your genie, and if you ask it or put into it nightmares, you'll experience nightmares. If you put into it beautiful, loving, peaceful, constructive, kind thoughts, words and images, then that's the world that you'll experience. Because without asking, um, that automatically happens. But I believe in controlling that process, which is why I say that you're God, you are the grand organising designer, that you can actually program your mind, mental programming, mental training, and instead of these things happening accidentally and living by accident, that you live by the law of control. You use what I said before, which is the law of substitution. Substitute the thoughts and create the life that you deserve and desire by using your powerful mind and if I can help you with that, then we need to have a chat. Be powerful. Switch off these negative images. We live in a world of images and they're all negative at the moment. Um, look at some beautiful things. There are loads of beautiful things, lots of beautiful people. Uh, I don't know anybody that thinks that war and conflict is a good idea. And so why have we got more of it? Because the government that are governing your mentality are manipulating you through these things. Uh, while they're all whining and dining and travelling and having a wonderful life with their chauffeurs and their um, thousands of pounds a week income. Um, them and us, and we can get our power back because you are powerful, you are unlimited. And if you don't understand that, then we need a chat. Be powerful, enjoy your mind. God bless.